Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the makeup I'm wearing right now. It is a very warm look and I know that I do warm looks all the time on my channel, but they are my favorite looks to do, especially in the summertime. I love really warm bronzy looks. But this look is a little bit different because I paired it with a bold lip and usually I pair my smoky eyes with nude lips. You can definitely do this look and then pair it with a nude lip if you're more comfortable with that. I know this is a little bit loud for some people. I wanted to do something different in terms of my lips. Usually my tutorials always end up with nude lips. So I wanted to change it up. This lip, I think it's so summery because it's a red neon lip but it has a little bit of an orange undertone and it's so pretty, I love it. For those of you who are sick of all my warm tutorials, don't worry, I'm planning on doing a lot of tutorials with the Lorac Pro Palette 2, a little bit more cool toned looks. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this look and if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I am using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Primer, no. Concealer, not primer. I'm using this to prime my eyes because it is a full coverage product and it's just going to cover up all the redness and veins on my lids. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Peach Smoothie and on a Morphe fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff this into my crease and just pretty much put it everywhere because it's going to be my transition shade and it's going to give it a beautiful peach look. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and on a smaller blending brush, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, only I'm not going to be too messy with it. I'm going to be a little bit more precise and adding this directly in my crease and on the outer half of my eye. Now I'm just going to take a warm orange shade. Um, this is just an orange eyeshadow in my Naturally Pretty palette from IT Cosmetics. And on my MAC 217, I'm going to be very, very precise with this color. Um, a little bit more precise than Creme Brulee. And I'm going to be putting this pretty much in just like the hollow of my crease and on the outer V of my eye as well. Next, I'm going to take my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, this and stab myself in the eye. This is the shimmery one, and I'm just going to pack this on my entire lid. Honestly, any shimmery bronzer will do. You can even skip this step. I just wanted to add a little bit more dimension to the center of the lid since most of the colors were in the crease and the outer V of the eye, but you don't have to do this step. Now I'm going to take Mocha by Makeup Geek and it is a beautiful dark brown color. I love this eyeshadow. And on a flat shader brush, I'm just going to be applying this really, really close to my top lashes to kind of make like a very subtle eyeliner look. I want it to look deeper and like chocolatier towards the eyelashes and make it blown out towards the crease, if that makes any sense. Really quickly, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face before I finish my eyes. I'm going to use my Tarte Primed and Poreless Primer and I'm going to put this all over my face. Well, on the areas where I want to cover up my pores or to hide them or blur them or whatever. Now I'm using my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in 250, 240 Fresh Beige. I don't, I don't exactly remember. I will put it in the description box. And this is... Um, foundation is darker than my face but it matches the rest of my body so I am self tanning at the moment so that's why my face is a little bit whiter than the rest of my body. I'm going to use my Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer and I'm going to use this to cover up my dark circles and to highlight my face as well. I'm just blending that out with my Real Techniques um, contour brush. Now I'm going to use Max Emphasize Powder and on my e.l.f. Um, tapered brush I'm just going to pack that underneath my lashes to set my concealer. Underneath my lashes? No, no, no. Underneath my eyes to set my under eye concealer. And set the rest of that concealer as well. Moving back to the eyes, I'm just going to take Mocha again and do the exact same thing I did earlier only making it a little bit darker this time. And then I'm going to sweep my brush back and forth just to blend it out and it can look kind of like a sunset where it goes darker to lighter. Now I'm going to be using my Milani Shadow Eyes and I'm going to use this to run it on the waterline. And then I'm going to go in with Max, no, 
Makeup Geeks, what is wrong with me today? Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee, and I am just gonna apply this underneath my lashes and really, really blow it out. I'm gonna smoke it out. I want it to look very, very smoky on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take Mocha again, and I'm gonna set that cream product I put in my waterline. Now, I have been putting eyeshadow in my waterline for years and years and years and years, and it's never irritated my eye. I don't have sensitive eyes, but if you have sensitive eyes, then don't do this. But I'm just going to set that so it kind of makes like a nice brown eyeliner and the powder is just going to make it set and stay all day. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani eyeshadow in the shade Bella Chiffon and I'm going to apply this underneath my brow bone. It is the most beautiful color. It has like a gold undertone and I'm going to put this in my inner tear duct as well. I'm applying some mascara to my bottom lashes and I'm getting them really, really good because I want them to be very, very like voluminous on my bottom lashes. And I am using my Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Mascara. And then I'm going to apply some to the top lashes as well because I will be going in with some falsies. I am using my Red Cherry 747Ms and then I am going to apply them to my lashes. So finishing off with my face, I am using my NARS Laguna Bronzer on my e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm just going to be warming up my face. I'm not adding blush so I want my face to be very, very warm and bronzy but I'm really focusing this um, bronzer on my cheekbones. I want it to be like very intense on my cheeks as you can see. Not like very intense but I want them to stand out my cheekbones so I'm applying a lot of the bronzer there. Now I'm going to add my highlight and I'm using my Sigma contour brush to add it and I'm taking my Bella Chiffon eyeshadow again and I'm going to use this as a face highlight. This is so amazing to highlight your cheekbones because of that gold undertone. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful and like goddess-like and summery. I love it so much. It's like my new favorite face highlighter now. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So that is what I'm doing and then I'm going to take it on the bridge of my nose and on my upper lip and you know, all the beautiful places you highlight. So for my lips, the coolest part of this tutorial, I am taking my Milani anti-feathering um, lip pencil thing and I'm going to put that on my lips and then I'm going to add some concealer to my lips so that the lip color will look more true to its color because my lips are very pigmented. So the color that's on my lips is the Lime Crime Velveteen in Suede Berry. This stuff is no joke. It's a beautiful, hot, neon, orangey red. It comes off more neon in person, like a lot more neon in person. It's just absolutely beautiful and it lasts all day on the lips. I seriously had to get like makeup remover to take this off of my lips because it's like cement on your face. It's great if you want something that'll last all day. So that is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.